Alright guys, um, I'm back with my, whoop, sorry, my walkthrough of Fable 3. And, uh, let's continue from where we left off. Anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. That's a just the beginning. So if you guys are just watching, we just escaped from the castle where our oppressive brother, Logan, was uh, being a tyrant. So we th we're going to start a revolution with our friend Walter and uh, my butler, Jasper. And we just figured out I'm a hero, so. The blood runs through our family as... snack on you, Jasper. I'm but a nobleman, and I like shooting fireball. Look at that. It's the power stone sewers. Oh, you might want to cover your eyes, too, Jasper. Fall back! I could exterminate a few more back. this one here in case he ever needed to use it. It's the same symbol that we saw by the tomb. I suppose it's activated in the same way. Well, there's only one way to find out. You know what to do. Yes, I do. This will be getting us to one of the new things in this game. And, um, it can be accessed with a button. A button you never knew. What is knew this place? You know. Would access this type be. of room. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. That's right. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Mm. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in those pages. as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We could use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mistpeak. 
There are people there who would make great allies. They will offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. All right. So, we have to interact with the map table. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination, and you should be taken there, just like that. themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I... You can also see how this game has drastically changed since part one and two. Uh, that's another thing. It's very, very much can be um, compared to real life. Poverty, uh, all this stuff with child labor and everything. Like, it's just pretty crazy. It's a very, very messed up world. I told you earlier, we'll they see that hate now. Logan's guts. Yep, it may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced for them to. For He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no Jane, idea it was this bad. Food. She's really good, honest. Her name's Sadie. <coughs> the man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a prince. <coughs> Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. Sorry, guys. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. Right, so I can't go in there with my elegant clothes. We don't need much. Just enough to survive. So we're gonna have to go and buy some more raggedy looking stuff. Get them right here. The dweller men's suit. I don't really like the bandana, but we have to buy the whole suit. Okay. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is, is, this, is this how you use this? Uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. That's good. Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? So as I was saying, the button that drastically changed was the start button. And I'm sure y'all, you guys all heard the, the interviews and stuff Peter Muller knew did about them. But, you know, you just hit start and... No load screen, ah, you're hello. instantly taken now, to the Included in the sanctuary. the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. I've got some presents here. Lionhead Studios. This is our dog here. I can change him over to the uh, settler dog. Which is the one I like the best. So I can also rename him. If you'll just step into the dressing room. I'm going to name him my real dog's name. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Alright. So 
we gotta step into the dressing room. I'm sure you guys can tell what these are. There's, this is the armory, the clothing room, the trophy room, and the last one is internet play and stuff with to do with the online. But yeah, let's get into the dressing room. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquire during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? Let's do that. So, equip the whole armor. There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. As you can see, once you get different types of clothes, they'll all be rested upon these sedans. Hair dyes as well. And tattoos, and these are customized ones where you can just fix up custom suits. But let's go back. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much Though, about. Um, we can do a few good deeds here. I'm probably going to do that for the, the half of the video. This is where they, they count. Um, you can see uh, right there the neutral symbol thing that these people have. Um, when do you help them, that eventually goes up. And you get followers. So that's basically the guys of, of it. Why? Why let's help. Let's a reliable stay. way to gather a few you followers is by simply bike. interacting with people. Try it. I'm sure you'll make an impression. Uh, <laughs> and the longer you hold the move, you get more points. And you also get guilt. Getting out among the people has paid off. Remember that Look, interacting right. with Ooh. the citizens of Alba is generally yeah, yeah, a reliable yeah. way to gain yeah. Yeah. Yes! Wait. Like so. You can also Absolutely give them money. Brilliant. I'm probably gonna do that as well. You know, be a good if guy. If I ever get hold of that Logan, I'll ring his neck. The little children. Daddy says there's nothing to eat. But I'm so, so hungry. If I ever get hold of so that Logan, hungry. I'll ring his That's neck. It's all Logan. <laughs> good to get all these guild seals early. You'll be able to buy a lot more stuff from the road to roll. A lot more skills upgrades. It's like a never-ending nightmare. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got to the castle right now and killed Logan if I had the strength. It's so cold here. I feel so weak. You think Sabine's got a plan to get us out of this mess? Hey! If I ever get hold of that Logan, I'll ring right. Well, I gave a lot of money, so let's continue. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well, I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. from the castle, Prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? <gasps> then what do you want? Alright, I'm going to have to end it here, but um, we'll continue talking to him on the next video and see what he wants to join me.